welcome to Scale Car Garage. Well, a um, bit of a change of pace uh, for this episode because I received a package in the mail. And uh, wow, it was, it, was, it was a delightful surprise. I did get an email um, that I was supposed to get a package because uh, this is from one of my subscribers. And I have to tell you, I... Uh, I'm really kind of overwhelmed. It's, it's, it's lovely. Now, I don't know what's in the package, so I thought we would open it together and discover just uh, what is inside this uh, most welcome package from one of you fine folks out there who uh, hopefully enjoy these episodes here at Scale Car Garage. So I received this most welcome package from uh, one of my subscribers and uh, I asked his permission if it was okay to actually unbox uh, this and share it with you folks and he was so generous uh, to say of, of, of course of course and, and, and I just want to thank Charles from California for this wonderful package I, I don't know what is in it now I have um, you know made a very very careful cut on top because I didn't want to do that on camera uh, just in case you know blood spurting or me doing something silly so I thought I'd do that first but I have not opened this yet so I thought I would uh, well share it with you and we'll do it together so let's see what's in this package uh, I, honestly I don't I don't know it was uh, a total surprise and Charles did not give any hints in his email he just said that um, he was sending something that he thought I would uh, I would enjoy uh, and also enjoy to share with with you all. So let's uh, let's open this right now. Okay, just a little bit left here. Okay, and a little bit of tape over here. Okay, let's open this up and see what's. I'll just put the tape over here, out of harm's way. All right. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh. Whoa. There there are two of these these kits. This is um, let me just look at the first one here. This is wow. Uh, a 132nd scale Datsun at the time they were called Datsun and now it's Nissan. Uh 240Z uh by Ayoshima. Oh my goodness. And, and of course, in, in Japan, they were called the Fair Lady. Um, that's a story unto itself. But um, oh my gosh, what, what a beautiful, beautiful kit. Okay, so let's, let's take a look and see what's inside. Uh, wow, it looks just, just, <laughs> I can't wait, I can't wait. Okay, I'm going to put this carefully over there. Oh, look at the contents. Uh, everything is individually packed. We've got the chrome uh, bumpers. It looks like uh, headlight bezels. Wow. Uh, oh, the glass. Boy, there's two, oh, two sets of glass. So there's the interior glass. And, oh, headlight, tail height, and turn signal lenses. Whoa. Ah, the hubcaps. In in interestingly enough, because um, I'm old enough to remember when these cars were actually driven by people, because uh, <laughs> that was like 1970 that they came out, and it, it was like um, the most uh, affordable E-Type you could you could own. Um, they're an incredible good, incredibly good car, uh, but I don't think I ever saw one on the road with the factory hubcaps. Everybody used to put uh, some sort of mag wheel on them. Uh, oh, look at this body. Oh my goodness. Wow. A one piece, this is, this is perfect for a slot car, folks. Whoa, yeah. Okay. Oh, beautiful body. Oh, there's the, Interior and chassis pieces, instruction. Oh, look at this. I, well, this is designed as a snap kit uh, so that, you know, you, you don't have to really paint anything. And look at that. Look at all those. Those are stickers. 
for the chrome. Uh, oh, the hubcaps even. Uh, the, oh, the tail lights, the marker lights. Oh my gosh, the dash dials. <gasps> this is unreal. What a great, great kit. Charles, thank you so much for this. I, I know there's one more box in, in the box, but wow, this is, um, this is really, really thoughtful. Um, thank you so very, very much. Um, I, I, I do not even have one of these kits, not even one. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So I guess now I do. Uh, <laughs> thank you again, Charles. Just absolutely brilliant. Uh, I love the sound of plastic packaging. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just put this uh, in, 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 out of harm's way here right now. All right, uh, back to the box. And we have the second box. I, I, maybe it's maybe it's a second of the same. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Let's see, you see it before. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh man. That's a Toyota 2000 GT. Oh my, 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 my. What a car, what a car. This is, this was like one of the first exotic sports cars produced by a, a Japanese company, the Toyota 2000 GT. Now the engine was actually, I believe built by Yamaha and uh, they actually had a racing series with these cars. Um, I think Carroll Shelby was involved with them. I'm, I, I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but uh, I'm pretty sure he was involved. But oh my gosh, what a car. What a oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful car. Of course, uh, made famous in that, uh, that wonderful James Bond movie, You Only Live Twice. Um, so, uh, okay, let's just put that here. And oh, another beautiful, beautiful kit. Look at the chrome. Oh, wow. Oh, wheel covers. Look at that. Eh? Oh, now I believe the car in You Only Live Twice was a convertible um, and had wire wheels. Um, hmm. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking what I'm thinking that I should be thinking. Got it. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's a lower valence that, that snaps on. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Another, essentially a one-piece body. I guess it has the lower, you know, look at the undercut on that lower valence. You'd have to make it a separate part. Absolutely, oh, look at that. <gasps> Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. What a car, what a car. <sighs> what a kit, oh. I, and, and I don't have any any of these uh, Aoshima 132nd scale kits, surprisingly enough. Yeah, it's not like I don't have other kits around, right? But look at the, oh my gosh. And this is the interior, the chassis. Uh, well, the, the, the tires are hard plastic, but that's fine. Uh, we probably won't be using them anyway. Oh, this will make an, an amazing slot car. And again, again, in keeping, just like with the 240Z, um, it has this sticker sheet of chrome <laughs> to go around the, uh, the window surrounds along with, oh, oh, wait, let me just rotate this. So, you, oh, they even did the wood for the dash. Wow. Wow. That is incredible. Oh, the, look, the headlights, marker lights, just, just beautiful. Oh, man. So there are so many possibilities with these two kits. I mean, hmm. Well, uh, I think it, uh, I think it requires some pondering. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, I can't look at a model now without thinking that um, perhaps we should make a mold of it. <laughs> because you just can't have one of these, can you? Um, no, of course not. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, Charles, uh, thank you so, so very, very much for your very, very thoughtful gift. 
I, uh, it's not often that I'm left speechless, but wow, uh, uh, um, amazing, just amazing. And uh, Charles, you must be an incredibly observant individual because with all that's going on here and all that you see uh, in, in the garage here, those are two kits I actually do not have. Someone has an eagle eye and an exceptionally generous spirit. So thank you so very much, Charles. Thank you to all of you for sharing this, uh, this unboxing with me and, uh, and for watching, for commenting and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you so very much. So uh, I guess we'll see, uh, we'll see you at the next episode here at Scale Car Garage. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe.